हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू होप यू आर डूइंग वेल एंड वेलकम बैक टू द वीडियो ऑफ ट्यूशन टू नाइट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट द प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ अ बैंकिंग सिस्टम एक्चुअली इट इज द कस्टमर बैंकिंग डैशबोर्ड इन विच वी हैव फाइव मॉड्यूल्स लॉग इन पेज रजिस्टर पेज अकाउंट बैलेंस टू चेक एंड रिचार्ज द अकाउंट यूटिलिटी बिल पेमेंट इंस्टेंट पेमेंट ट्रांसफर एंड ऑर्डर चेक बुक सो दीज आर द फाइव modules we are going to create in this project the whole project will be in graphical user interface and integrated with my sql database end to end so this is one of the best project to learn how can you create the entire project in java swing using the help of my sql database so what are you going to learn in this project number 1 complete project is created with j swing Number two, complete MySQL database integration with this project. Number three, executing the query of retrieving, inserting, deletion, and editing or update of a data from the J frame. So these are the basics. But we are going to create or modify the query with the help of MySQL PHP My Admin dashboard. So you will also explore so many queries. Number four, creating the entire database management system and table creation in Apache MySQL PHP My Admin. You will create the table and uh, create the columns. You will use the date and time libraries. You will switch uh, from frame to frame. And the last one is you can import the images from J frame using J label. But this is not the uh, not only eight thing you are going to learn so many thing out of these so what technologies we are using obviously the programming language is java the integrated development in environment is netbeans 8.2 but you can also use the apache netbeans so it will not create any problem the library used here is mysql driver and front end will be created over java swing and database is mysql so let me show you the demo of the banking system that what we are going to create in this video so let's see so this is the login page uh, on clicking the register now the register form should be appeared uh, the username and a password if you will just put right here inside the jtex field and if the password and username is all correct so you will be redirected onto the, onto the dashboard on clicking there are four modules right the first is account balance if you will just click the account balance you will jump onto the account balance page first you have to write the account number and the amount you want to recharge the 700 and click the submit the amount has been saved into the database if you will just click the show balance the balance will be retrieve also from the database if you want to pay the bill select the item that is electricity uh, obviously so you have to select the name of the bill you can check the limit by uh, clicking the view limit uh, label uh, first you have to select the account number just clicking the button you will just put the amount that is actually i want to pay before just paying let me just check the account balance that is 61700 rupees so obviously i cannot pay 67000 i can just pay 60000 rupees like i just pay 60000 and check the account balance so the 60000 has been reduced uh, subtracted from the total amount just go back just check the instant payment transfer this is our third module you can select the bank uh, in which For for the person uh, where you want to transfer the amount, you have to put the account number. You have to put the amount that what you do you want to pay. The purpose of the transfer, you can write any text right here. You have to put the email address of your own. That is actually I am going to write the tuition tonight at the rate gmail dot com. Pay mobile. The mobile number could be anything. Um, that you want to write here you can write any note and after just putting all the data you will just click the pay button and the pop up screen will show amount has been transferred successfully on clicking the back button you will just redirect onto the dashboard this is our order check book just click the label the account number balance should be right here uh, the leave you want to order is to select and just click the order button This is how simply the application will work. 
so this is the project that we are going to create in this video so without wasting any time let's jump onto it so without wasting any time let's jump onto our project and create our new project with the name of banking system so just click the new project click next and the project name should be banking system right here banking system great now press finish or press enter it will create the package uh, at the left of your sidebar uh, inside the banking system you have to click the new button and you have to click the J frame form and in this form you have to write the login page because we are going to create the first ever page that is login page right here okay let me drag this page and um, put all the labels and JTAX field and all those stuff that will be used in this form uh, from left to right first you have to um, drag the J panel in which you have to decorate your page right so this is our J panel and what we have to do right here is just to click the properties and go into the foreground right just click the white color click close I guess it should be background also so click the background and click the white color and press OK so you can see the J panel has now been converted from gray into white color and we have to work on this first of all you have to drag the labels so let me drag the labels that what we are going to create and you just have to follow me right please don't try to uh, skip the video um, in that case you will be unable to understand what we have done in this project so please do not skip this video or and don't forget to subscribe our channel um, at this time we need your support because many of the viewers just see the videos and just do not subscribe the channel tuition tonight so this time we need your support so we just urge you to click the red button of a subscribe to subscribe our channel in order to get notifications you will click the bell button whenever we just post the video you will get it so this is the process that I am applying just to um, put the image on our J frame right so let me select the file okay close and this is how you can just easily put the image uh, from your internal device onto your J frame let me decorate uh, it first so let me just uh, increase the speed of this video so you will just uh, see the whole decoration in a fast pace so you will get it in a few time all right alright guys so let me check uh, whether the file is okay or not so this is how we have decorated our page and hopefully you understand that let me jump on to the next process that is actually the back end of this page so the front is all is all already now just click on your design on the register now you have to click event and just go on to the mouse and click mouse clicked right here we have to put our backend code in order to switch from one frame to another right so we have to create the object of the register now page uh, so whenever we just click the text so it will uh, just take us from one uh, login page to the register now page obj dot set visible and inside the parameter you have to put true I guess there is a typo mistake right true true and after that you have to put dispose 
this error that is showing me right here is just because we do not have created the register now page so we have to click new and uh, click the j frame form in order to create the register now so the class name is register r e g i s t e r register now press finish or press enter okay so the frame has now been created and the error will also be removed from the login page let me just put a single title over here that is register now page register form is little better than register now okay so let's jump onto the login page and you can see that the error has been disappeared all right so you have to put dispose right here let me check whether the file is running all fine or not okay so this is our front end and on clicking the register now you will switch on to the register form so this is how you can easily jump from one form to another all right now we have to start working over register now so um, the first and important thing is to create the front end of the register form so let me just increase the size of a main title uh, the font is time new roman and i have increased the font size and the font weight so this is how you can easily change the font size and font weight right now we have to put the labels and jtx fields so let me just copy paste by the way you can just copy the uh, label from uh, control c and paste by control v right um, let me just uh, increase the speed of this video so you will just get the front end ready in a fewest second right okay so the so we have to uh, change the item of a combo box and um, for that purpose you have to click on the j combo inside the item you can just write national identity card for the id type and passport for the second option for id type right just press ok and press close and this is how you can easily change the items of the j combo box right let me again just increase the speed of this video all right so the front end of the register page has been completed now what we have to do is to go into the back end just click the j combo box press event press action and action performed all right now what we have to write here we have to write the code whenever we just select any item from the list so it will be selected and save into the variable in order to save into our database so we have to work for that okay now just move on to the back end of this video oh sorry the back end of the register form all right so now first of all you have to create the variable with the name of a selected value and data type should be a string a string selected value is equals to j combo box yes j combo box one dot get selected items dot two string should be paste um, after that dot two string right so error has been removed now we have to show the um, text that we have selected from the j combo box onto the j field so we have created the id type dot set text a id type is actually the variable of the j text field so id type dot set text and the variable have been called inside the parameter the second thing is selected id number so we have to change the variable name with the name of id number the third is account number so we have to change the variable name with account email id should be changed with email register phone should be changed with phone date of birth should be changed with dob you a uh, username should be changed with user 
and password should be name with I guess pass right all right so all the variables has now been changed what we have to do I am thinking to create the back button in order to click the in order to uh, go back to the login page you have to click the back button for that purpose you need that option right so let me just change the font size and the font weight the color of that label should be red so this is how you can easily change the color of that label now first thing is go on to the mouse click mouse click all right let's just write login page obj we have to create the object of a login page right here a login page obj is equals to new login page and um, obj dot set visible and inside the parameter we have to write true after that we have to write dispose not disposer it's dispose right just save this file run the file the front end is ready just click the item from the j combo and the text field has clicked uh, take it and when i just click the back button we can easily go to the login page so this is how you can easily uh, jump from one frame to another by clicking the back button now the time has come to create the connections of the database right so we have to store the data of register form on into our database table for that purpose you have to click the libraries and click the add library just scroll the list and beneath that list you have to click mysql jdbc driver the driver has been added let me just start my zamp control panel just write the oh in order to uh, install the zamp control panel the link is under description you can easily install the zamp panel from that link just start apache and mysql in order to access the uh, database table go on to your chrome and write localhost slash dashboard slash and the website will come in uh, on the navigation bar you will find the phpmi admin just click on phpmi admin the loading is uh, yeah the page has been loaded we have to create a new database with the name of banking so we will write banking right here click enter and it is asking us for the first table name that is our register now page right press go and it will ask and it is asking now for the column name and the type of that field so first is our id type the second should be id num yes the third should be account the fourth one should be email and if you want to add the rows uh, columns so you just click on your add button on the fourth one we have to write phone the next column should be our dob then the next should be our user and the last should be our password right so this is our pass okay just go on to the type click that variable character and for all the column we have to select the variable character as a type of that column because all the data that will come right here will be in a variable character form that is actually the string format so it will say the variable character right okay great now the time is to put the length of that field so the field should be of 200 length right so 200 200 200 will be the length of all the columns
okay 200 yes and the last column will also be of length of 200 okay now just go down and click the save button and this is how you can easily create the table inside the dashboard of php my admin for java swing right okay now first thing that is very important right here is to click into your register now button and now we have to create the try and catch a statement or in order to avoid the errors of connections for mysql jdbc connection right and all the code should be in the try block and catch us for to um, to avoid the termination of a product uh, of a program if any error will come inside that try you have to click the class dot for name and inside that for name you have to write com dot mysql dot jdbc driver jdbc driver right okay the next thing is connection we have to create the object of a connection class in order to um, connect our jframe netbeans uh, uh, user interface with the php my admin mysql dashboard so you have to create the connection class inside uh, you have to put the database name username and password of that database to create the successful connection so for that purpose you have to write connection c o double n equals to driver manager dot guide connection and inside the parameter we have to put the three parameters there is some kind of error coming let me check okay so the error has been removed let's just create the variable with the name of a sql where we have to write the query before that you have to put the jdbc uh, database name for that purpose we will write jdbc colon mysql colon backslash backslash localhost colon 3306 backslash banking actually the banking is the name of our database comma in the in, in the second parameter you have to write root and the third should be empty like i have done you just have to follow me now you have to write the insert query in order to insert all the data of a register form into the mysql database so for that purpose you have to write the query that is insert into into a register now page register now is actually the name of our table that exists in our database that is banking so insert into register now the values are still empty right here because we have to create the variable for all the text fields and then we will pass the values right so before that we have to go for creation of variable you have to create the object of a prepared statement so write prepared statement ptstmt is the object is equals to con dot prepare a statement and semicolon and inside that prepared statement um, there are two things that we have to do right here is to put the sql variable call inside the parameter and the second thing is to i guess i have 
then the typo mistake right here let me just correct the spelling that is actually the prepared statement uh, with the capital P not a small p okay so the object of a prepare statement has been created now what we have to do next right here is to is to create the second prepare is uh, sorry the prepare statement dot the object of the prepare statement with set string parameter and inside the set string we have to put the column number and the text field of a jframe front end with get text so if we get any data from the front end so we will pass on to uh, into the first column of my sql database that is actually created for id type right for the second you have to write a column number two and the variable of a second text field is id number dot get text yeah great similarly we have to again call for third fourth fifth sixth seventh so let me just copy paste all the syntax so on the number three the third variable should be account the fourth variable should be uh, there is a mistake i guess it is account a double c n u m oh all right on the fourth column we have to write email on the fifth we have to write phone yeah perfect phone on the sixth we have to write dob on the seventh we have to create the user on the eighth number we have to create the password the two should be replaced with eight all right so these are the eight column that we are going to save inside the database so we have to put the eight question mark question mark is actually uh, we just place whenever we just put the data at the run time so there it the question mark support us to uh, us to put the data at the at the run time so it will not throw any error now what we have to do is to ptst dot execute update uh, the object of the prepared statement will call the execute update to update the query update the data of the database right after that what we have to do right here is to show the pop-up message for sure for that purpose we have to write j option pen dot show message dialog on the first parameter we have to write null and inside that we have to put the message that is data has been inserted successfully all right now what we have to do is to close the connection uh, that we have started on the top line number 211 let's just run the file and check what is it giving the output after just selecting the item the id type is passport the selected id number is one two three four five six seven eight nine the account number should be any of the random number that you can see on the screen the email id is tuition tonight at the rate gmail.com the registered phone should be any random number actually the data type is uh, variable character so all the format are correct if you want to put plus or brackets or hyphen all the things should be supportable so there will be no error the date of birth should be 27 7 and any of the year the username should be 
admin and the password should also be admin. Just clicking the register button and the message has been pop up that as data has been inserted successfully. Press OK. Go on to your dashboard of a PHP My Admin. Just click browse button and see the data will be appear. Yeah, the data is on the first row. That is actually the passport number. All the data that we have inserted at the front end is now being stored in my table. That is actually the register now table. Just click the back button and go on to the login page. So the register page is totally ready. Great. Now what we have to do is to start the work for a login page. Right. So for that purpose you have to click the login button and you just have to go into the action and action performed. And this is the back end of that uh, login page where we have to put the try and catch block in order to avoid any kind of error that will occur by uh, creating the connections. Right. So inside the try block what we have to do is to create the class and a connection class so for that class is to write the class dot for name and inside the parameter you have to write the same uh, com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver perfect on the second line you have to create the connection obviously so for that purpose you have to write uh, before before creating any connection we have to call the username and a password that is actually the first priority for us the connection should be created after that so let me just change the variable name of the user text field that is user and the password should be paws pass all right so both the text field uh, variable has been changed now we have to call right here a string user un equals to user dot get text in order to store the data in the variable a string p8 uh, it should be i guess username and password that is actually the right way p dot get text great Here we have to create the connection. So for that connection, you have to write the connection. C O double N is our object is equals to driver manager dot get connection. Inside that connection, you have to put three parameter. Before that, you have to import the Java dot SQL connection um, and in order to allow java to create the connection class all right so inside the parameter you have to write jdbc or colon mysql colon double backslash localhost backslash uh, colon 3306 backslash database name that is banking all right in the second parameter you have to write root and the third should be vacant should be empty Okay, so the connection class has been created. Now we have to write the statement. A statement st is the object of the statement class is equals to con dot create a statement. Write the variable name that is a string SQL. Before that, you have to import the statement library inside the variable you have to write the query uh, to select all the data from the login page that we will create in the dashboard in a few seconds just go on to xam control panel i mistakenly just close my connection so for that purpose i have to restart the apache and mysql but if you have started so don't need to restart it again just go on to the local host dashboard uh, click PHP my admin it is loading the page all right we have jumped onto the dashboard of the mysql PHP my admin just click the banking that is our database and we have to create the new table so you have to click the new button and the table name should be login page 
Oh, it should be login. All right. So this we just need the two uh, field that is username and password to store the to store the password and the username of the customer. So the type should be variable correct and the length should be 200. Okay. Now you have to click save in order to save the table. All right. The so table has been created that is with the name of a login. And these are the two columns username and password we have to go on to our backend of our code here we have to create the result set first so for result set you have to write result set the object of result set is rs is equals to con dot create a statement import the java sql result set in order to avoid the error but there is another error coming that is showing me incompatible variable i guess so we have to i guess we have to do something else i have just uh, done some mistake right here we have to call the statement st dot execute a query uh, all right so the query variable should be passed inside the execute query parameter now what we have to do right here is to create the while loop in order to iterate the data of the database table wherever the password and the username matches inside the table of that row it will just um, validate the password and a username and we should be jump from login page to the dashboard of our application all right so where uh, here we have to write the string username is equals to rs dot get string and username this is how you can extract the data from the database table a string password is equals to rs dot get string that is actually the password there is some kind of error that is showing me right here it is showing me that username variable is already uh, created on the top so we have to just change the username on the top is un and the password should be pw all right all right so the error has been removed now what we have to do right here we will create the conditions that if the username dot equal username if our java text field variable matches with the database row so it will execute the if statement you will jump onto the dashboard and if it doesn't matches with the mysql data so it will just show the message that username and password is incorrect so this is how you can create the syntax to jump onto the dashboard um, although the dashboard JFrame is not ready yet, so it is just showing us the error. It is the underline red line uh, inside the dashboard. We have to create the JFrame. Inside the else, you have to write J option pen dot show message dialog. The first parameter should be null. Or we should go with this keyword so there is no uh, contradiction in between this or null username or password is incorrect if the data doesn't matches with the database table so it will just show the message that is j option pane dot show message dialog with the pop-up message of a username or password is incorrect inside the catch block you have to write the pop-up message that there is some kind of error connection while creating the connection of JFrame with MySQL dashboard. So inside that you have to just write the error while establishing connection. Establishing field. Error while establishing field. Right. Okay, so if we want to remove this error, so we have to create the new JFrame 
just go on to new and click the JFrame form just put the dashboard name of a class the dashboard class is ready with and the error has been removed okay now just run the file less let me just check is all the thing going fine or not before that there is a single problem because we have to write the we have to put some data that is admin admin the username and a password manually so this is the way you can put the manual data from your dashboard into any kind of table okay so the username is admin and the password is admin also if we just run the file and write the username admin and the password is also admin if we write both admin admin and click the login page you will jump onto the dashboard page so this is how easily you can just create the login page just run the file click the register now click back cross all the thing is going fine the application is totally going fine all right uh, we have just put the data manually and if you don't want to put the data manually so for that purpose you have to create another query for insertion of data of username and password into the login page for that purpose you have to create a variable with the name of sql1 is equals to insert into login values should be username and password but we just put the data on the runtime so for that purpose we will just put two question marks right here okay just copy the prepared statement line number 215 just paste on the 216 change the object with the ptst empty one and the variable should call sql1 inside the prepare statement okay on line number 226 what you have to do right here is to call the ptst empty one after the execute query you have to write ptst empty one dot set text and the row number one uh, sorry the column number one is username so one comma user dot get text should be right should be written here okay on the next you have to put ptst empty one dot set string number two column number two that is our password so call the text field of uh, password p a double s dot get text perfect now create ptst empty dot execute no uh, execute update put semicolon to save the file go on to your dashboard put the label on the top of the form actually we have four modules left right so for that purpose you have to write the four names for uh, writing any text you have to drag the labels or oh, the title is a dashboard of this page actually this is our menu page so we can be redirected onto any page from this dashboard page so we will write the page name right here uh, for label one two three four let me just change the font size font weight and font family okay so dashboard is the title added the name that is actually the account balance it is our first module the second is bill payment
third is instant payment transfer and the fourth one is order checkbook by the name of all the pages you can easily imagine what should be the functionality of these four pages in the account balance you will easily just put the balance and recharge your account bill payment will help you to pay any utility bill instant payment transfer will help you to transfer the amount from your account to another account and the third is order checkbook so you can order the checkbook of a 10 20 30 40 50 leaves um, checkbook so you can easily um, complete our functionality by taking the help of these four pages and this dashboard will easily redirect you to that respective page all right perfect great uh, just last one should be bold with 24 font size let me just put the dashboard in between just go on to the new and click the jframe form and just create the account balance similarly go and click the jframe form and write bill payment we are actually creating the four pages right now the third is new jframe form instant payment transfer so the name should be instant payment the number fourth page should be jframe form with the name of order checkbook order check right all four pages has been created successfully go on to your dashboard click account balance click event mouse mouse clicked and this is the back end of that label here we have to put the redirecting syntax code to whenever the user just click the account balance label it will be redirected to the account balance page so we have to create the object of account balance class obj dot set visible true and after that you have to put dispose okay similarly for bill payment instant transfer and order checkbook you have to do the same the name of the class is bill payment obj is the object of a bill payment class obj dot set visible true and dispose similarly for the instant payment you have to click mouse mouse click write the class name inside this j label for mouse clicked method uh, write the class name that is instant payment create the object obj is equals to new instant payment obj dot set visible it should be true click event mouse and mouse click order check obj is equals to new order check obj dot set visible inside that parameter you have to write true and write dispose great so the button is working fine now just go on to the account balance we have to decorate this page 
and all the decoration are same as we have decorated the register now and login page so i am just muting my voice and you will just follow the video don't try to skip the video because if you will skip this video you will be unable to understand what is going in the project so the project is little bit complex if we uh, talk from the perspective of our database query and the backend so therefore it is necessary to watch the video uh, without skipping it from any part right so let me just mute the video and enjoy the video please don't forget to subscribe the tuition tonight channel uh, if you still didn't uh, press the button of a subscribe so i will urge you to please subscribe first and then go uh, further right so let me just mute the video and enjoy and follow all the steps thank you